What up, YouTube? Ray Ray here, Fabulous Bulldogs, checking in with you guys today. I decided to do a Q&A video to answer some of the questions from my subscribers um, that they have mentioned in the comments, things that they had concerns about. And I decided to do a Q&A so I can answer all those questions. But before I get started today, you guys, what I want you to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and the bell notification so you guys can be updated for more videos from Fabulous Bulldogs. Let's go! This your boy Ray Ray here, Fabulous Bulldogs. And like I mentioned, you guys, is I'm gonna do a Q&A to answer some questions from my subscribers. But before I get started, you guys, I wanna say thank you so much. We just reached 400 subscribers here at Fabulous Bulldogs and I couldn't do it without you guys. So I wanna say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and also give me thumbs up if you like this video. If you don't like this video, give me a thumbs down. I totally understand. Now, this is a Q&A, and I'm just going to answer these questions to the best of my abilities and let you guys know what I do. And I do want to throw this out there. I'm not a veterinarian, so if you have anything or any problems with your dogs and none of this helps, always, I repeat, always contact your veterinarian for, um, for information or always take your dog to the vet. They are professionals, okay? So, I got my phone right here, you guys. I'm just going to read off some of the comments off my phone and answer them to the best of my ability. So, this first comment right here, this first comment is saying, we are getting ready for our first litter and have been watching your videos. They have been the most informative so far. I was just wondering how you like the incubator setup overall. Any issues that you would change? Thinking of um, going with a simple setup like yours. Great video. So, the incubator, I loved, I loved, I loved the incubator having it when I first had my first litter of puppies. Um, one thing that I would change about my incubator is the heat light was a little bit too close to the puppies. So, if you have an incubator, just make sure you do not get the high watt light bulb. Make sure you get the, the lower watt light bulb and do not, I repeat, do not have it real close to the puppies because they will get dehydrated. Um, another thing that I wish I had in my incubator is the um, oxygen. Oxygen for English Bulldogs is so important, you guys. Um, English Bulldogs, as you know, they got the smashed muzzle, so they already have a little bit of breathing problems. And when you put your newborn puppies on oxygen, it really does help them to be able to breathe a lot better. So what I would um, what I would do differently, um, I love the incubator, but what I would do differently is I probably wouldn't have the, the watt of the light bulb um, so high, do not have the watt of the light bulb so high, and make sure that you, if you make an incubator or you have an incubator, to, to get oxygen. Oxygen is very, very important for any bully breed, um, especially English Bulldogs and dogs like Frenchies. I hope I answered your question. Now, this next question right here is Healthy Coat. For, um, I talked about uh, a product that I use called Healthy Coat, and this subscriber asked me, Healthy Coat for horses, is that the one that you are using? If so, how many ounces do you add to their food? My bulldog is losing a lot of hair, and a lot of hair in the back end. So with the healthy coat, you guys, and I repeat, with the healthy coat, all that does is enhance the dog's um, coat. It does not, I repeat, it does not take care of any underlying issues. So if your dog is losing hair, it could be something like allergies, or um, it could be uh, an infection or bacteria infection. So make sure that you treat the underlying issue before you give them anything like healthy coat because all healthy coat does is enhance the dog's fur. It does not take care of any problems like bacteria infection um, or skin allergies or anything like that. So yeah, it, I do use healthy coat for horses and how I administer to my dogs is I just drizzle it over the top of the food, kind of like gravy, not too much and I go ahead and I serve it to my dogs, you guys. But like I said, I am not a vet. If your dog is losing hair, 
Make sure you take your dog to the vet and call your vet right away to get the dog as necessary medicines that it would need. Now this next question right here, it says, um, thank you, I just ordered, um, just ordered the product. Um, I have a female as well and she is losing hair in her face as well. Is that normal or can I use this product? Um, the only problem with my female is she is small um, and she might lick the bacon taste. Now, what this uh, person was talking about is the Shape Lease um, original MTG that I was mentioning in one of my videos. And, uh, and this subscriber said, my dog is losing hair on the face as well. Is that normal and can I use this product on her face? Do not put any chemicals on your dog's face. Um, your dog's face is very, 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 very sensitive, just like human's face, and you do not want to put these chemicals on your dog's face. Now, if your dog is losing hair on the face, just make sure that you keep their dog's face really, really, really clean. What you could use is antibacterial soap for, uh, for dogs like bulldogs, and it's an antibacterial, antifungal soap. And make sure you wash your dog's face and keep it really, really clean. But I do not recommend using any harsh products on your bulldog's face. All right. This next comment said, can you give me any advice or information I may need while my female is in labor? Um, it is our very first litter. I've never had English bulldog litter before. I see on here very uncommon for them to have babies. Um, I cut it off a little bit. Can you give me any advice or information that I may need? Bear with me. Information that I may need. Um, my female is in labor and it is our very first, it is our very first litter. Um, any advice that I will give you for your very first litter is just make sure that you are prepared. Make sure you are prepared when you have a English Bulldog litter. Make sure you have all the necessary things that you would need. Um, one thing that really, really, really comes in handy, you guys, is the suction ball that you would use if you, if you're a first, if you're a mother, and to get the mucus and stuff out of your baby's nose. You want to make sure that you have one of those handy too. Um, always handy. Um, another thing is keep. Do not leave the mother alone in with the puppies. Do not do that. English Bulldogs are very, very, very clumsy and they could sit and fall on the puppies and smash them. So when you're feeding your puppies, always make sure that when you are done feeding, you take the mother out of the room with the puppies. You do not want to leave the mother in there. Um, and another thing is just make sure you're very attentive. Make sure your mother is really healthy um, and make sure your mother has a lot of milk. Uh, make sure your, your, your mother has a lot of milk. So. If um, anything that I, advice I could give you is just make sure that you're prepared. Get all the things that you need prior to having your litter and do research. Do research on how to whelp puppies. I have a couple videos on my channel about um, supplies and things that you would need to whelp an English Bulldog puppy. Hope I'm answering you guys' questions good. This next um, comment says, what are allergy signs? If you could let me know, I would really appreciate it. My bulldog got bumps all over his leg, belly, and back. They kind of look like red pimples, but bigger, and some just look like bumpy scabs. Wow. Okay, now with that right there, that does sound like skin allergies. Um, my dog Bella, when I first um, had Bella, she has a grass allergy. So when she goes out in the grass and she rolls around in the grass, she used to come in and have bumps all over her belly and um, scabs on her back. So what I did, you guys, every dog is different. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you, um, that you observe your dog and that you take time in figuring this out. And I admit, sometimes it can be a headache and sometimes it can be really difficult, but you have to do this. So what I did with my dog, Bella, is I took all, everything away. Everything from her treats to the um, to the kind of food to everything that I felt like was giving her allergies, I eliminated everything and I started to give it back to her slowly until I seen what was causing the allergy and I took it away. Now, one thing you want to do if your dog does start um, breaking out with scabs and stuff is, like I said, call the vet. 
call the vet because that is a skin allergy and you might need to get tests and things to find out what is giving your dog allergies. Um, if you catch it early enough, try Benadryl. Giving your dog Benadryl um, helps, at least with my dog Bella, Benadryl helps a lot. So um, if, there's, if that doesn't help and you give her Benadryl, you try everything, you give her a bath, make sure you use antibacterial, antifungal soap when you're giving your dog's bath. And that seems to help a lot for me. And like I said, just make sure you watch your dog, eliminate everything, and bring everything in slowly so you can find out what's causing the, the problem or the skin allergy. But if none of that works, always, and I repeat, always contact your vet. All right, let me see what else. This person said right here, you should do a video explaining the stuff you learned throughout the whole process of whelping. And um, which, what would you have done different before breeding? Um, the process um, about whelping things that I've learned is um, you got to be, like I said, whelping is not easy. Um, especially when you're whelping English Bulldogs for the first week, you have to be up with the mother every two hours. You have to feed the puppy, excuse me, every two hours. Um, the first week, the second week, every three hours, and the fourth week, every four hours, and then you repeat, you repeat, you repeat, which is a lot of time consuming. So if you have a job, if, um, if you have other things to do, I would suggest do not try to breed English Bulldogs because you have to be really, really, really attentive. Um, one thing that I've learned, and like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, is uh, one of my puppies I didn't know about since Bulldogs had the smush face that they aspirate and we only had four puppies in Bella's first litter and the pup man Bella was get, having a lot of milk so the puppies were being really really greedy and they were aspirating and milk was coming out their nose so like I mentioned you guys make sure you have one of those suction balls and suction out all their um, their nose whenever you see milk coming out their nose and another good thing to have on hand is oxygen, you guys. Uh, what I learned is when one of my dogs aspirated, we took them to the vet, and the first thing the vet did was put her on oxygen, and she um, and it saved her life. So a lot of my breeder friends, they have incubators with oxygen, and it really helps the dog's lungs develop. It's clean air for your bulldog. So my next litters, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an incubator and I'm gonna get oxygen, because oxygen, it really, really helps with English Bulldog puppies, okay? Um, also, what I want to mention, you guys, like I mentioned, is I'm not a vet. Um, I just learned these things. Um, I just learned these things over time, um, trial and error, and that's what you have to do when you're, um, when you're working with English Bulldogs is you're going to learn these things um, trial and error. So don't, don't, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, but, um, but as long as you're learning, you're not losing. Okay, so I'm um, gonna do one more comment, you guys, before I get off of here. It says, very quick, you are very informative and explain everything in details. Thank you for thank you for that question. Everything that um, you do does it work the same for puppies. Now, puppies are a lot different, you guys. Um, you don't want to do too much with puppies, okay? A lot of the things that I talk about on my videos are for adults, but some of the things you can use with puppies as far as like bathing, but what I do with my puppies is I don't like to give my puppies too much too early, you know, because puppies, um, puppies are different and you don't want to do anything to harm a puppy as it's growing or its development stage. So what I do with my puppies is I just keep them on dog food and the dog food that I use, you guys, is I use um, Diamond um, Chicken and Rice Formula. I also use Purina Pro Plan. Um, salmon for Bella. My dog Bella, she has skin allergies, so I use Purina Pro Plan Salmon for Bella. But for my puppies, I use Diamond Natural Chicken and Rice. Now, um, like I mentioned, you guys, if you have any more questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment. Uh, feel free to leave them in the comment. I would do more Q&A videos if you guys want me to. Just go ahead and let me know in the comments, you guys. Um, I hope everybody is being safe out there. I know we're going through hard times right now here in the country. So just stay inside, um, social distance, um, and stay safe, you guys. So before I get off of here, what I want to say is go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the, hit the dislike button. It doesn't matter to me. 
Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you guys are updated with more videos here from Fabulous Bulldogs. I want to say God bless and have a good day. Peace.